Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Capricorn, this is going to be one of their true intentions in love. It is. And uh, today, you know, Capricorn, we have your oracle cards like we always do. We come prepared, right? Kind of like Tower Power used to sing in that song. We came to play, right? Yeah, where they were jamming and badass. Uh, but s seriously, Capricorn, the first card I have here is Facade. The second card I have is Renewal. So somebody wants a renewal with you, or you do. Somebody's living uh, like a fake life over here with this facade, or they're putting on a fake face. Maybe they're putting on a happy face when they are. Uh, but a facade usually is some type of fakeness, right? Yeah, and uh, it's like when somebody is kind of putting up a front, right? Mm-hmm, it's not this, they're not being genuine with, uh, you know, with their life or about, you know, they're just not being really kind of honest. It's usually kind of honest with yourself and this is why people have to put up a front or a facade and they could be stuck in the mud capricorn unless you are stuck in the mud about it we have uh you know the cute elephant here yes he is he's very cute and uh, he's very powerful but he's he's a kind animal he is and he's stuck in this mud here right and the bird's sitting on top of him like i wish i could help you but i can't right because you weigh 3,000 pounds and I weigh, you know, two pounds or not even. <laughs> we have rock bottom. So somebody has, uh, somebody has, somebody's like, you know, at the, at the rock bottom, like the worst place about this, right? And this is how we make decisions or how we change our lives. This is how we have breakthroughs, uh, how we, you know, we hit rock bottom, right? And this is how, this is how it's done, right? Because some people have to feel, go so low, or feel so unhappy that that's when they will really make a change, right? And sometimes they have to see all this kind of misery to understand. Time to stand up, right? So we have Six of Coins, Capricorn. And uh, the Six of Coins here is a man's giving. He's giving her the pentacle. And, you know, this is about sharing and caring in this particular deck especially. It's almost like the Queen is here. Queen Capricorn here. And, you know, here is the, here's the man giving her a, a coin. Mm-hmm, and uh, unless somebody thinks they're really nobility here, but, you know, uh, people do think like that, especially these days. I don't mean people like us, but people who are, um, yeah, other people, you guys. So the renewal card, though, Capricorn, the renewal card is, you know, it's clear what it is, right? And this is the second card after Facade. I feel like somebody wants a renewal with you, uh, but they're still uh, probably living a fake life, and they're stuck in the mud. It could be really bad for them. They might be like rock bottom here, right? Which is, you know, uh, time to maybe, maybe it's time for them to uh, rescue themselves. Yeah, let's see what we have. Let's get one card from this deck here. We have the benefactor. All right, so this is talks about somebody who... Who's, uh, who provides a lot. It's usually someone who provides something really good here or somebody who provides money. Mm -hmm, the benefactor or maybe somebody who makes something really, really good. So in the extended, we're going to have the gypsy spread. And right now we're going to uh, pull two more oracle cards and get into this reading for Capricorn and their person. And we have the card of the call of the night. Daring, adventure, and excitement. Okay, so it sounds like somebody's going to... Uh, Somebody's going to go out on some type of, you know, exciting uh, nighttime date, right? Maybe it's going to be daring and adventurous. Maybe it's going to be good sex. Who knows? Sounds like it, though. Let's see what else we have. Uh, or it could just be exciting. It doesn't have to have sex in it. Supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, and otherworldly. Something here is like uh, kind of, of the higher uh, consciousness or of the divine. You can't explain it. Uh, and it's miraculous. It's miraculous, and it comes from another world, Capricorn, right? Yeah, it comes from another world, and that is the world of the divine and the one that they don't want you to believe in, right? The one uh, the one of intuition and connecting with source and really understanding that uh, the planets really rule the world. They do, uh, and so does astrology. It does. Uh, they don't want you to know that stuff, but, you know, the clock has, uh, 12 hours, right? 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I think that guy might have said this in the other reading, but, you know, there's nine, excuse me, there's 12 years in a month, right? 12 hours in a day, 
and uh, kind of well in like in the AM or the PM, right? And trying to show a pattern here, and then there are 12 astrological signs, etc., etc., right? Even on the clock, what do we see on the real clock? I don't mean the digital one that you know you guys got at Walmart, and I don't mean that. I'm talking about the real clock, uh, you know, it's based on uh, 12 hours, right? And a 24 hour day. It's the same thing, right? And so let's get into this reading, you guys. Yeah, let's see what we have. And for Capricorn, you have the Six of Cups reversed. This is somebody's returning to you. This is what you want, Capricorn. Yeah, maybe you're the one. I feel like you're stuck in the mud because somebody else is uh, living in a facade. We have the High Priestess. The Five of Swords, haven't seen it hardly all day here. And uh, you might want to give up on this person. It's possible here. You could be tired of waiting. You maybe you probably know that they're they're stuck in their little, you know, their little fake world here, right? The world of make believe. So many people live there, they don't want to face it about uh about their own life. They don't want to face it about uh things that are really going on around them. They just want to stay in their own little safe world, which is usually unhappy, but you know. Uh for this person, it's probably unhappy because of the stuck in the mud and the rock bottom card. <laughs> Let's get back to this reading. That's not really, that's terrible and laughing, huh? But I don't think this is your energy, Capricorn. And if somebody wants to stay in a facade, I feel like, uh, you know, it's laughable a little bit because, come on, let's live in the real world here, right? And, you know, and live, live genuinely. I feel like it says that either somewhere in the Bible or just somewhere by a psychologist. You know, you, you're supposed to live your life genuinely, right? Yeah. So let's see what else we have. The Two of Cups reversed, the Three of Cups reversed, wow. The Tower reversed, and the Page of Swords. Your person has all these reversals because they feel like their whole life is, is a reversal. And I say that because look at this card, Rock Bottom. They're showing the Rock Bottom here, and if you flip the card, it's Rock Bottom again. Whoa. Yeah. This person feels like, yeah, they are rock bottom about a path forward and this renewal with you, Capricorn. Yeah, mm-hmm. Right, where this lady is. She's meditating, right? This nice lady right here, she is meditating. So let's see what we have. In your challenge, Capricorn, is the High Priestess, right? And so maybe your person is a Pisces or a Scorpio. And uh, that's all we have so far, folks. Yeah, we have the Tower. This is Scorpio, but that's all we have. So let's see what else we have for you guys. And you're in the Five of Swords energy. I mean, you don't look like you are sabotaging anything here. I feel like you're in despair about this person. Let's see. You might be, or you might have been as of lately, right? Mm -hmm. We have the Five of Cups reversed. You're in despair because you want a new beginning about your person from the past here. Yeah. So let's see what else we have. In your challenge is going to be the High Priestess. And the Six of Swords reversed. Mm -hmm. The Six of Swords reversed can, you know, talk about, you know, kind of turn around and return to me. But because he's rowing away. But it can talk about somebody who feels really frustrated. You might feel stuck in the mud and rock bottom, Capricorn, about this person. Because I feel like that's probably it. Because they're living a facade. They're living a fake life. Yeah, and I'm curious what Latin or Greek or, you know, whatever root this comes from, facade, because I feel like it comes from the same word as fakery, mm -hmm, because that's what a facade is. probably comes from face, where people show, like, uh, a fake face, or they're, you know, they're wearing a mask, and all those words, uh, I believe, not the mask, but uh, the meaning behind it all come from that. Mm-hmm. Wow. So let's see what we have, you guys. I, I love language, culture. What else? Mm -hmm. So we have the Nine of Wands reversed and the Five of Pentacles reversed. OMG, Capricorn. So you could be giving up on whether or not they're going to let you in. It's possible here, you, you, right? Uh, maybe you're seeing this person, I don't know, but you want them to let you in for something solid for this renewal right and the sun is behind her uh yeah and so she's sitting in this meadow right which is really beautiful but uh this is what you want 
Ten of Swords. Wow, maybe you want them to end another situation. Maybe that's why they are living a facade. Maybe this person has a child, and so the man is with this child, and he's out walking on these clouds like he needs to come down to earth and live a real genuine life, right? Instead of walking on clouds, kind of, you know, this fake kind of cloud nine situation. And cloud nine is supposed to be good, but over here, you know, this is probably uh, cloud 11 or whatever cloud this is, Capricorn. But these are clouds, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's look at the fear for your for you. Three of Pentacles or the Doubt, Three of Wands. Wow, we have the Three of Swords here. Yeah, this is definitely third party third party energy. I feel like it is for most of you guys. Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. You're afraid this person, you're not going to manifest this. There won't be any movement. You're afraid that uh, you won't work, you know, you won't you'll never work this out with this person. And their energy, Capricorn, is the Knight of Cups reversed and the Five of Wands. So they're really challenged here, uh, maybe about a water sign, but they are just really challenged. Five of Wands, it could be competition. Uh, you might have competition with somebody here, it's possible. Uh, and, uh, you know, you could be doing this. You might want to, I mean, for some of you guys, you might want an ending and you might want to be with somebody else because uh, you don't want to be in some type of facade or something like that, right? You don't want to, like, kind of live a fake, a fake life or a fake reality but uh it's probably your person it looks like you want the renewal here and uh or you i feel like you might be stuck in the mud because they're living uh a fake life yeah so let's see what we have here a lot of people do it they do i can't for this for the sake for the life of me for the breath of me i couldn't do it and let's see what else we have we have the two of cups reversed and we have the knight of swords reversed this is their energy I feel like this person probably feels immobilized here about a new beginning or about this situation with you. To me, your person looks like they're unhappy or they are uh, challenged and they might be arguing possibly their, their, their life could be kind of maybe uh, full of tension and anxiety. It's a possibility. I feel like they want to break up with somebody, but they don't look like they're really doing it. The fool, see? They want to take this leap of faith on you. Yeah. The challenge for them is the Three of Swords, and they want the Tower reversed. So, you know, these cards, I feel like, talk about endings and new beginnings, Ten of Swords here. But this person is, uh, you know, this is, it's showing up here in their current energy that they are taking a leap of faith here. Uh, and maybe, uh, maybe there's, they're going through some type of breakup with somebody, but... It's possible here they have the five of wands. They could may majorly be being challenged. Like, I'm not sure if they're actually doing this. Because what is clear is they are super challenged. And they this looks like they want to rebuild over here with this tower reversed. Let's see what we have in the three of swords, which is in this the uh, in the challenge first for them. Three of swords reversed, seven of swords. So it appears they want to really kind of uh, escape and end a third party. Three of Swords reversed. Or leave some type of life where there might be heartbreak. This person, I, this person looks so unhappy. They have like one good card here and four terrible cards together. <laughs> It's like they want to end their situation here. This is so clear to me. Yeah. Here they are uh, in their energy, their current energy here. Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Two of Cups reversed. Uh, they have the Five of Wands in the upright, which is challenges. Uh, for me, it's about a breakup. And then they have the Fool, which is, also, which is about a new adventure. And it's with you, Capricorn, for sure. Yeah. So let's see what else we have. And then over here, we have this card of uh, unexplainable and miraculous. Well, this person needs a miracle. Yeah, they need a miracle. They do. Because uh, somebody here does. Because for me, if, you know, this facade is like the opposite of a miracle. It is kind of downtroddery and unhappiness and unauthentic, living in inauthentic. I think it's inauthentic living an inauthentic life, uh, you can never get far with it. You will always feel stunted uh, about your growth in life. 
you'll always feel like you didn't live a real life and you you'll never know you know or you know you've could you've could have done this or that but you didn't do it and you have to live with the fact that you don't have courage and you might even feel like a coward i don't i don't think this is your energy though but i feel like it's your person yeah i do because they look really unhappy <laughs> and then okay so what they want is the tower Mm -hmm. and daring adventure excuse me uh the call of the night this person is they want to see you they want to like come and like, like they want to share some time with you i feel like they do excuse me what and what they want is the tower reversed and the two of swords reversed for me what this person wants is to kind of like come out of some type of stalemate and rebuild with you or make up their mind possibly let's see what else we have the hangman. Yeah, this person's like stuck in limbo. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person might be seeking their like their intuition or their higher consciousness to, to decide whether or not to come forward for a renewal. You might even be dating this person with that daring adventure card. Yeah, the call of the night. Let's see what else we have. And we have the page of swords and the death card. This is in their doubts or their fears. It doesn't always have to be that, but I just feel like this person here wants an ending with with their situation. Mm -hmm. I feel like you want them to give up on somebody, Capricorn, and let you in. You may know, you could be thinking, you know what, you could be thinking you know that they're already unhappy. Yeah, it's a possibility here. And let's see, let's look at the gypsy spread and we will complete it in the other reading. Yeah, let's see what we have for uh, Capricorn and their person. Mm -hmm. And the benefactor card is here. So this could be a father, a provider, um, and this can be somebody who feels like somebody else gives something really, really good to them. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for uh, Capricorn and their person. Let's see what we have. Yeah, this person uh, is not, this is the person, I believe, who is kind of living. I mean, this reading could be switched, but it, lo it looks like they are just not happy with their life. Yeah. And it's possible they are not happy with somebody else. It could definitely be. We have too many threes in this reading. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, Two. Uh, mm-hmm. And the Five of Swords is here, OMG. And the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is uh, a really, this is a hard reading. And uh, you could really kind of be, you could be really kind of sad about this person, Capricorn. And you could really be kind of, on some level, like really kind of just, I feel like on some level you want the courage to let this person go. Yeah, I feel like you do. So let's see what we have. And, uh. We have the frivolity card. Yeah, let's turn these cards over. The death cards in the past. And unfolding is the enemy. <laughs> the sweetheart, the servant, I beg your pardon. And the outcome is going to be uh, the scholar. So somebody is learning something or have learned a lesson here in the outcome as part of the outcome. Mm -hmm. So there was some type of ending in the past, it looks like. But I feel like this reading is probably about this person. They are the scholar. The the scholar is, you know, he's somebody who wants to learn. So he's reading the book here. He could be a teacher too, right? But he's reading the book here. Uh, he's looking for information. He's trying to learn something. The obstacle is the servant. Like somebody's married to somebody here. Maybe who doesn't work or, but so it looks like somebody could be uh, married to somebody here. Possible here. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to end this reading. We're going to go to the extended uh, Capricorn. And we're going to look at the shared energy and how they feel about you. What's challenging them. Uh, what's in their environment. What's on their mind. And what you don't know about this person, Capricorn. And, of course, their true intentions. Are, they're all super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me here. And we're going to finish this and clarify this. Uh, I want to see this reading. Uh, this little gypsy spread. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.